and good morning people. Welcome back to Sakodan 4. Last time we saved Lilin. She was out at sea just minding her own business and then she got captured. So we went to protect her and then we got taken on by Dario who thought we were really actually uh, kidnapping her. Luckily uh, Pirate Kika came along and sorted that out. But after that we came back and we've been tasked to go to Ney for meeting up with someone. Not sure why, but uh, I suppose we better do that. However, I've got a couple of things I want to do first. Now this is something I wasn't able to show because I wasn't recording at the time and uh, well it doesn't show up twice but uh, when you come back up after you've gone down to uh, the ship you come back and uh, you talk to the inn this lady here uh, shouts at a, a boy and the boy runs off. This boy has left without play, uh, paying for something. So what we're do going to do is go and catch him. Cedric we're after. And he's unbelievably quick on his feet. Let me tell you that I want to chase after this person. He is someone we are going to be uh, picking up. He is one of the recruits and he is extremely valuable. There he is, just over there. Not because he's a good fighter, not because he gives anything to the team. But he makes something fairly worthwhile happen. And off he goes again. So, through we go over the cliff path. He's pretty much going into a dead end, isn't he? Because we both know where he's going. There he goes, and yeah, he's gone into our little cave. So he has nowhere left to run. And neither did that killer rodent. Just one, I can handle that now. I actually don't think they can actually, uh, they can uh, cause their instant death now because my levels are high enough. I'm not going to risk it, but, uh, yeah. Anyways, let's follow Cedric into the cave. And apparently, well, someone's found him. So obviously we talked to the person who said something. Yeah, I think we've caught our little uh, runner. Louise is uh, someone who knows what she's doing. Not that we'd hurt her in any way, but uh, obviously Cedric's the one in the wrong here. Not sure why, but uh, yeah. The kid can run like the wind. My ability to flee. Yes, 
That is what we're going to be using, not the ability to flee. But he has something else that he can do. So, party formation. Vicky is coming out and we are putting Cedric in. If I remember correctly, he... Yeah, I believe that's quicker. He pretty much m picks up your uh, move speed. If I remember correctly, I just want to check uh, without him. Oh, no, it must be someone else. Hmm. There is someone that changes your uh, movement speed. But uh, Cedric's coming in anyway because his uh, secondary support skill is to find treasure. I, as for that movement speed, yes, I do want that person as soon as possible because it's going to make it so much easier to uh, go around on the sea so much quicker. But we might as well head over to Ney now. So let's go down. Convenient elevator. And I don't believe there's any more I can do on this town at this moment in time, so... Let's use the ship and go to Ney. Where is Ney, you ask? Well, we're going north. Very well, Ramada. All I ask is you complete one more job for me. I will prepare at once. Excuse me. By the way, Sir Cray, what of the object in question? Very soon. Ah, so this is the new product we discussed. Indeed. And for indulging my whim about Razoril, I'll be willing to sell you the requested item at a lower price this time. Call it a gift to celebrate your installment as governor. What's going on there? Hmm. But uh, we're going to Ney, and like I said, we're going north. We're going up here. We're going almost near to Willia, which is... Hmm. But uh, we've got a long way to go, so we've got to head out. But, uh, yeah, you don't really want to see me do this, do you? You do? Oh, okay. Oh, hello there. We have damp hairballs, and yeah, by the way, I'm not showing me running across the uh, ocean floor. For one, I'm in a boat, and I'm on the ocean surface, and two, if it's as boring to go on, to go do it while playing, I'm not going to show it because it's even more, uh, more boring doing that. But uh, damp air balls, they are pretty much exactly the same as they were before, except now, well, they have less health. No, well, they have more health. What am I saying? They have the same amount of health, but uh, I am much stronger than I was before. So just a couple of turns should be enough to kill them, if things go right. There goes one, and there goes the other. I probably should have uh, concentrated more on one, but uh, that's fine. Uh, you don't have... Uh, 
Level 3 magic yet. That's a bit of an issue. I need to hopefully sort that in the future. That's uh, Jules' problem. She, her magic doesn't come quickly. Which is unfortunate. And at the moment, I'm such a high level, it's quite a distance from me actually leveling and in again my health bank. Uh, so, make a measure since it is. But uh, this is how far I've gone, and it's been about five minutes. Yeah. Anyway, back when I actually get somewhere. These new. These fly lizards might be new. Uh, the jellyfish men definitely aren't, but the fly lizards might be a bit more. Uh, new. They at least take a bit of a beating. I really should be going for the uh, jellyfish men because, but. Uh, for some reason I'm not. Kindness Rain will do fine and just uh, finish off this fly lizard please. Thank you very much. So that's another new enemy. Jellyfish men will still hurt but at least they're not doing 60 damage with that attack now. So, yep, this should actually be a quite a good uh, bout, bout of experience for me. Well, compared to what I have been getting, yeah. Still going. Come on, where are you? There you are. And there's the port just over there. So we are now being able to make landfall in a total time for me to actually get to this town from uh, Opal, 12 minutes. Yeah, that wasn't exactly quick. And another reason why I want uh, the person I want later. Oh, thank you. Uh, what treasure chest? Ah, that one. Um, how do I get to it? Ah, this way. A wool loincloth. Okay. Does that actually make anything useful? No one can use it. Okay. Um, I do believe there's a treasure map somewhere around here. And also later or now there might be an item on this beach. I think the AI item is later though, so okay. Okay, he's having a workout. Oh well. Let's uh, go up some stairs. Doesn't really take us anywhere. I believe we can't go out this way just yet. Oh, yes we can. And... Naked bolts. Um, we happen to have one of them with us. Yep, chipu.
But uh, that doesn't really matter too much right now. We're here to find someone. Which means we probably need to go and find the uh, biggest house available. Because that's usually the way we need to go. Hello, we've got a uh, smithery. How much do you put I I weapons up to? Seven. I will happily take that. It's only 4,500 for each character. That is perfect enough. And everyone's getting an upgrade on their weapon as well. I've now got the Twin Heaven Fang. The Shining Sword. They're exactly the same swords, just better. So, where are we going next? Um, chest will do fine. There's the treasure map. More people talking. I believe this is the chief's house. Yes, it's the only open house. So, are you the chief? You are, but you are not apparently the person I'm wanting to be talking to. Yeah, talk, look at the uh, shelving treasure map there. Always useful. Well, it will be useful once. So, if that's not where we need to go, where are we needing to head out to? We do have this way. And... Random people. The city of Ney is actually built into two uh, towns. There's this one here, which is the human city, but there is a second town. And the person we need, need to speak to, I believe, is that one over there. I think I'm going to before. I head over to talk to him. We're going to have a look at the Nakerbold village because there is a second, uh, as I said, there's a second town. It might ha hold something useful right now. That's if I can get there if the enemies aren't too strong. Because that's usually the most deterring factor if the enemies are too strong. Just looking for treasure in here. I believe one of one or two of these has a treasure chest. Or people to speak to. Treasure map, so that's free in the last what five minutes. Nice. It's not gonna help exactly right now, but uh In the end, I will get a nice item from them. Okay, so I'm gonna make a... Actually, I'm gonna go save. Make a quick uh, trip down and see if I can get to the Nakerbold village. And, uh, yeah, hopefully things go right. Okay, we're on the Stonecutter's Field, which is the uh, intermediate area before the uh, being able to go over to the village. And here is our first test of how good our weapons yeah. and equipment is. 
<laughs> okay, yeah, I should be able to uh, make some headway. Because these aren't too yeah. dangerous, it seems. Level 4 main character, nice. There are some chests around here as well. I probably shouldn't go off of the road, but uh... Killer flies! I didn't see how much damage that one did to me. Probably should have paid more attention. 24. Uh, not too bad. As they fly, they do like to uh, dodge a little bit. But I actually outspeed these now, so. Hmm. Ah, oh well. Anyways, there should be a chest just up here. And more fights. And Cheapo died on that. I need to pay more attention to my health. Mostly because, well... Yeah. It's alright though, Cheapo isn't really an intricate part of my future plans. He's good for now because... Uh, I don't have anyone else that I can use. And that's the reason why he's still in there. And that will change in the future. I am going to be uh, another trade map, okay. Uh, getting more better uh, fighters, hopefully. Okay, so let's actually try and get to uh, the Naked Old Village. I believe there is another chest on here, but uh, I've got plenty of time. This place never gets cut off, so uh, I have plenty of time to come back later. In fact, it's going to be beneficial if I do come back later, so plenty of time, plenty of opportunity, plenty of fights. Can I get through this little path before Chipu expires again because he's close to death? I can? Excellent. Does it grant me anything right now though? Not certain. Uh, no, I'll use me normal medicines for now. Okay, across the bridge I go. And through into the Nakerbold village. Yeah, we've got a very, very cat based uh, town here. However, it does have a few amenities. For one, it has what is here, an appraiser. You don't find one anywhere else on the uh, town, on the island. Not that it really does too much, since I had two pots of failure. A light knob? Hmm. It has... Bang here, who is a lottery guy. Uh, let's try it once. Mega medicine? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go and use up all my uh, lottery tickets. Might as well do it now because I believe the limit cap for items is 99, so I 
don't want to keep too many if I go over that cap because then they'll just disappear. So, back if I get anything good or at the end, which is more likely at the end. Nothing better than fourth prize, so I just got a few mega medicines. Hmm. But he does have a, pro no, a uh, portrait. We will be coming back to him. There's a warehouse there. Probably fourth catnip. Because why not? And also in this side of the town, we have the trading post. There is not one over on the other side. It is just on the trading post. Uh, just on the Naked Bold Village side. And we've got Peril. Yeah, it is our first time here. And he's an aspiring writer. Yes, there will be a lot of people, eventually. So, let's go. So that's another person joined our cause. Hundred Potch. Now now is has a shortage of silver ore. Where do you can sell it for a lot right now? Uh, I believe I have some silver ore. I do, but it's not really selling for a lot. Wait, Narnell. No, that's a different island. I haven't been to Narnell yet. Why are you telling me about Narnell? I haven't, haven't even seen that place yet. Anyways, uh, anything that we can buy here? Yes, salt. Yeah, I'll buy some mayonnaise. Really? Well... There's a load of soap for me. I didn't think they were cheaper here. Uh, I thought uh, Oba was the cheapest place. Hmm. Flutes, yes please. Uh, musk I can sell. Furs, yeah I'll buy some of those. Okay, so what can I sell? Might as well sell those, make a small profit. Soy sauce I can sell. Crystal balls I can sell for a nice amount. Musk is a good profit. Holly berries is quite good. Flower seeds is also quite good. But yeah, there's the essence of making money in this game trading post there is a couple of other options but uh, the trading post is likely the best one but uh, next time we're going to go and have a look around the rest of uh, the old village in the naked old village I might find a few other things here so next time that until then have a wonderful day have lots of fun Goodbye.